Hi guys, my name is Ksenia. I make videos for people who are going through the family immigration process. I'm not an attorney. My videos are based on public information, my own experience, and the experience of my subscribers. And the purpose of my channel is to give you guys the confidence to go through this process completely on your own. Today, we have a great update for the F2A category. If you are a spouse or an unmarried child of a permanent resident, you fall under the F2A preference category on the visa bulletin. Any category that is listed on the Department of State's visa bulletin has to wait their turn in line in order to be able to apply for a green card after their I-130 petition is approved. The Department of State every year determines a certain number of green cards that are allowed for these types of relatives or also employment-based applicants, but I only focus on family-based cases. And as you can imagine, because there is a limited number of green cards available for these categories every year that is why we have significant wait times for these categories because historically way more people submit petitions than there are available green cards there are some categories that historically have to wait 15 or even 20 years and then there are categories that are significantly shorter such as the case for f2a for example for a couple of years even there was a significantly larger number of green cards available for spouses and children of permanent residents that the f2a category actually had a word current written in it so what that meant was the applicants in the f2a category who had an active petition or an approved petition and were in the united states they were able to apply for a green card immediately without having to wait for the i-130 approval but since september 2023 that was no longer the case since september 2023 the f2a applicant had to wait in line just like all the other categories that were listed on the visa bulletin. What that meant was they had to have their I-130 petition with a priority date before the date that was listed on the visa bulletin in order to be able to apply for a green card. And the priority date on a visa bulletin since September 2023 has been moving very, very slowly. However, we had some great and also unexpected news as the priority date on the visa bulletin for F2A category jumped very quickly to June 15th, 2024. And that is for the August of 2024. So what that means is if you are a spouse or a child of a permanent resident with a priority date before June 15th, 2024, you can go ahead and apply for adjustment of status. Of course, that is if you are still in lawful status in the United States. If you initially planned to go through consular process, but now because of this huge jump in the bulletin, decided to go ahead and apply for adjustment of status, you can go ahead and submit the I-485 application with a copy of your I-130 receipt and all the other necessary documents. You can check out many videos that I made on my channel about the supporting documents necessary for the adjustment of status case. And you need to understand that this is the August visa bulletin. So what that means is if your priority date is before June 15th, 2024, you can go ahead and file your adjustment of status paperwork only as of August 1st, 2024, because that's when they can actually begin accepting these cases. When you go to look on the Department of State's visa bulletins page, you will see that there is a lot of different tables to look at. Specifically, there are two tables dedicated to the family-based cases. You need to pay attention to the second table, table B. The dates for filing table is the one that you need to look at according to USCIS for those of you applying for adjustment of status. The final action table, which is table A, can give you a general idea of how long your case may actually take to process after you file it. And as you can see, based on these tables, your case can take about three years. With that said, it also may be a good idea for you to apply for advanced parole. You need to remember that once you file your I-485 case, you must remain in the United States and you cannot leave the US without your special travel document, which is called advanced parole, because if you do leave, 
your case will be considered abandoned. And the final, final point I want to make is that if your case is taking quite a long time to adjudicate, but in the meantime, your petitioner is ready to become a US citizen, is eligible to apply for naturalization, you can obviously go ahead and do so and upgrade your petition later to kind of speed up your case. However, you need to keep in mind that if you were a permanent resident petitioner who petitioned your spouse and your child under the same petition once you become a US citizen your derivative child will automatically be kicked off your spouse's case and you will have to start the process for them from the very beginning again so that is something for you to consider before you decide to apply for naturalization I hope that you found this update useful I also hope that this video cleared up some questions for you if you didn't really understand the process subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!